Hello everyone, Norma Woodcock speaking to you from Perth in Western Australia. I'd like to speak into the second Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year C, and the theme, Has Your Wine Run Out? In the Gospel, John 2, 1 to 11, we hear about the wedding at Cana. Jesus' disciples and his mother were at a wedding and the host had run out of wine. And at his mother's request, Jesus transformed the water in the water jars into wine. Jesus likewise transforms our lives into something wonderful. You know, there's a beautiful book written by Ian and Matthew called Impact of God. He's a Carmelite priest. And in this book, he talks about St. John of the Cross and um, the teachings of St. John of the Cross. But he says something so profound. He says, Christianity is transformational. It's not just maintenance. It's transformational. So I guess what I'm, what I'm wanting to ask today is, has your wine run out? In other words, has your love lost its flavour? You know, where is it that you're feeling tired and, and, and giving up? Is it your vocation? If you are religious and my heart is taking me there, then this teaching is for you because if you come to him in true acknowledgement of that and allow God to show you where you can bring about a changing in your journey, your life, in your prayer, in your relationship with him, your relationship with others, I believe healing can come. And also I talk to the many lay people that are watching and I talk about our jobs and our, our, our marriages and, and, so, um, and our relationship with God. And so my conversion came about because I had actually left church because just church an hour on Sunday without a relationship with God hadn't worked for me. And so I had this big aching hole inside, but I didn't have a personal interaction with Jesus on a daily basis of deep prayer. And so that began a transformation of my relationship with God through Jesus when I began to seriously, uh, regularly develop a prayer life. But God just doesn't want to touch us with our relationship with him. He wants to touch us with our relationship with others. And with my husband's permission, as I have shared many times in these videos, my wine had run out regarding my, my husband. You know, the first romantic love where, where the person is the most wonderful thing in the whole world. And, and then things happen in marriage, as they do in vocation, as they do in the workplace, as they do in just life. Um, I was, you know, hurt quite badly. In return, I hurt my husband quite badly. And we were really, the wine had, had run out virtually. We were coexisting there for a while. I think at a deep level we were committed because what God had to do for me, and I can only speak for myself, he had to start changing me from the inside out so hatred could turn into love and, and, and resentment and bitterness into forgiveness in a very gradual ongoing journey. But it's the willingness to work with God, I think, which is what this whole teaching is about today. How willing are you to say yes to his work in your life and to, to the best of your ability, do what it is he is telling you to do? So I had to choose to forgive my husband for the hurt he had caused me. And, and it was as simple as wanting to want to forgive him. That's all I could give God at, at that stage. You know, it was, it was a deep trauma and I have shared on the videos, but it was that first step of wanting to want to forgive. And it is a process that God does bring about. Can I say to you now with all the joy that is in my heart that after 53 years of marriage, it's probably the best now that it's ever been. The wine is flowing freely. The love is flowing freely. We still have our moments. We're not always on the same page. We're as different as chalk and cheese. But what I want to say to you today and what the scripture is saying to me is don't despair if your wine has run out because he is the one who can change the water into the wine. So God bless you. Thank you for listening. May you have a great week.